Hey guys, Red Stellified here, and today I have a really cool um, Minecraft Rats and Sword for you guys. It is an automatic Minecraft enchanting room, and basically what this is used for is for you to pick how high your enchantment levels, or how high your enchantments you want. So right now, it's a pretty basic uh, bookshelf area. Do that at level 30s. So it's the maximum enchantment. We get all the highest levels, and it's indicated right here. Uh, you're going to get enchantments of 30 and less, and this light is on. So let's just enchant this diamond sword with 30 levels. There we go. Smite 4, knockback 2. Alright, so I want to enchant again, but I don't have 30 levels. So what I can do is I can push this button, and it's going to give me enchantments level of 20 or less. So we push this button, pistons are going to go off, and water are going to flow down. Now we check again. We're going to get... Enchantment is level maximum of 20. So let's enchant this. Sharpness 2. Sweet. Now, I want to enchant once more. But I don't have 20, 20 levels of enchantment. So what I can do. Is I can push this button right here. And it's going to give me uh, enchantment levels of 8 or less. So we push this. More pistons are going to go off. And water is going to consume the entire thing. And then we check. It's all really low enchantments, and this one gets to a maximum of about 8 or so. So let's just enchant level 5, sharpest 1. Alright, and then we can just return, turn all the lights off, and it'll change back to the default of level 30. The way this works, it's actually really simple. I just overcomplicated it, I think. Or, it could be a lot more compact. What happens is, is when you push the level 20 or lower enchantments, it sends a current down here to this T flip flop, right here, and this block will. This block gets pushed forward, and there's power going through this repeater. So when this block gets pushed forward, power goes into this current, and this goes into three different ways. The first way is into this this one right here, into this uh, redstone torch, and this inverts the piston and the, lets the water flow down. Uh, this current right here, it just uh, turns the light on up here, powers this wooden, uh, wooden block up here, and then it turns the light on. The lights really aren't necessary, I just think they look pretty cool. Uh, you can obviously make this without the lights. And uh, the last tra the last trail right here, it goes into this uh, redstone torch, which inverts this one off, uh, inverts this this uh, redstone current off, and turning this light off. But like I said, the light really isn't necessary, and you don't have to focus about any of the extra currents, uh, only the ones that I'm mainly talking about. So if I demonstrate here, this one's going to go into the T flip flop, box going to push, the current's going to go over here, and it's going to invert that. And as we see, this light's inverted, and then this light's on. And then when we turn it off. It just inverts the thing uh, the way it was before. Now, the way the level 8 enchantments, this one, uh, let me break this and put the sign here. You need this here so that the water doesn't flow out. You need something to prevent the water. And I use this because it just looks good and, yeah, it looks a lot better than signs on the floor. So, uh, what happens is it, it's getting released by this piston too. Uh, the water, if we follow the current, Right here, it leads into another T flip flop. It's basically the same thing here. It leads into another T flip flop here, uh, and then this current down here, right here, goes over here, and it connects with this one, and it uh, blocks the. It's blocking the current from going backwards with this repeater, and it inverts uh, that torch, that uh, piston right there, and then the other one, this one right here, it just goes all the way up here, and it turns off this torch and turning the piston into an off state that's how both water flows are going down at the same time and what this sign does here is when the water starts flowing down it goes on top of the sign and since water or it's a, the sign acts like a block the water is going to have nowhere else to go and it's going to go along this path right here it's going to circle around and it's going to block all the bookshelves so if I demonstrate one more time you can see it's circling around and it's blocking a majority of the bookshelves that's pretty simple, and then once you turn it off, it inverts everything, and it's gonna back, go back to level 3 default. This can all easily be made in the vanilla Minecraft. Like I said, if you don't add lights, it's really easy. Uh, if you guys want to check this out in more detail, there is a download link down below. And that's about it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all next time.